Okay, so when I first came across Sam at the Fully Charged show, um, I think at Silverstone a number of years ago, and it just seemed like it was an absolutely brilliant product. And in fact, I invested a bit of company, money in the company. I was so excited when I went up to see the factory and just thought it was great. And uh, I've just got two, I've got two properties in Nottingham where I've installed Sun Amps. So in both cases, it's a nine. I was originally hoping to use it for kind of some crazy heating system. But actually, domestic hot water is, is, is what they're designed for, and, and they're brilliant. And one of the things I love about them is that they're so compact. You can put them under the kitchen unit, sorry, under the countertop in the kitchen. So in, in, in my home, uh, that I share with my partner, we have a dine, and it sits underneath the countertop, right next to the sink. And so when I turn the tap on for hot water, two seconds later, it's applied in hot, hot water, which is brilliant. And we charge it overnight, we're, we're on economy seven, so we charge it overnight. Um, and the bathroom is immediately above the kitchen, so we get range pressure, hot water, and again, very, very short pipe run, so there's very little waste, very little delay. And I actually had a bath in a different property the other day, and I was using a bath that was driven by a coffee boiler, and it was just rubbish, it was just rubbish. And I was like, where's my son? I want my son on back. Um, well, I've lost the son of me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the other property is a rental flat, actually two flats, there's a nine, and again, there's a domestic hot water, and it's shared between the two properties. And we managed to squeeze that under a gas top in the corner underneath next to the sink that would otherwise be completely unusable space. So you know we're just making really good use of space and again very very short pipe runs, fantastic, you know, makes pressure showers and hot water. That's brilliant. And there's one other thing that I discovered. I went away on holiday a while ago and I was away for about over a week, possibly even ten days. And I came back and I turned on the hot water and it was still hot. Oh, I couldn't believe that. I, hadn't, I turned the sun up off because I didn't want to waste heat while I was away. I couldn't believe there was basically enough for a shower after 10 days of sitting there. And that was on the back of another experience where it accidentally got switched off for three days. It was three days before we realised it was off. So either we don't have enough baths, we're too dirty, or the insulation is good.